Hey fam, I just wanted to check in on you because it's been 12 days since we last talked, but it is way too noisy to talk right here, so let's go somewhere a little bit more private. Hey fam, it's Rachel. Today on Crack Your Bible, I just wanted to check in on you guys really quick, and right now I'm in a phone room at an airport lounge, so sorry if the noise is terrible, if the lighting's terrible, whatever, I apologize. But anyway, I wanted to check in on you guys because it's been like 12 days since we last talked here via video. And I wanted to let you know, number one, that I'm alive. And number two, y'all need to be following me on social media and make sure you have the notifications turned on when you're subscribed on YouTube so that you see the YouTube community tab posts that I put up because I promise you I've been posting things that aren't necessarily videos. So yes, I am alive. But the reason that I wanted to check in on you is because, you know, over the past month, I have been preparing for the next episode of Crack Your Bible. I've been reading books, I've been taking notes, and I've been like, God, where are you wanting me to go with this? And let me just preach to myself really quick. God's timing is not our timing. God does not care about your man-made schedule. When he feels you're ready for a word, he'll give you a word. Until then, sit tight. <laughs> okay, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so, you know, we've been talking about Genesis 15, and we've been talking about changing our minds, changing our attitudes, uh, changing what we think, so that we can become the kind of people that we see in Scripture, who were the patriarchs of our faith, people who believed God, and it was counted to them as righteousness, right? We want to be like the patriarchs of our faith. We want to use our hindsight, 2020 is always, or hindsight is always 2020, as we say here in the US. Um, we want to be able to look through scripture and see the good things that people did in scripture and emulate those things or do the same thing that these people did in those type of situations. And we want to avoid the kind of mistakes these people made because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if God dealt with certain people in a certain type of way when they did certain things, if they're bad things, we want to avoid them, right? And if they're good things, we want to do those things also. So as I've been taking notes and studying and reading other books that are influencing where this next episode in this series is going to go, I've been like, God, where are you wanting me to go with this? And I saw a post on social media and I did a little write up about it, posted it on the YouTube community tab. I posted it on the Crack Your Bible Facebook page and the responses that I got were weird. In general, the responses were not what I was expecting, but because I got weird responses, I realize this is where God is leading me with the next video because it showed me something about people's hearts, about their mindset, and why they're running into problems when it comes to their own faith. Why there are so many issues with Christians leaving the church in general when they've grown up in church. And it like it dawned on me once I was like reading people's responses it was like it just clicked but before I talk about that by putting up the next video of the series I want to see where people's mindsets are because again I know not everybody follows me on social media not everybody follows or gets notifications for the YouTube community tab so they have no idea that this post existed so if you're just a, a video watcher I want to ask you a question and if you already get those posts, I, the question is also for you. But I want to make sure it gets out to everybody. So I want to see where your mindset is before I put out the next video to make sure that I'm addressing everybody accurately, okay? <laughs> Instead of like just making assumptions about people. So I want to ask you, where does love come from for you? Does it come out of a sense of being in debt to somebody? Or does love for you come out of a sense of 
devotion. That's all I want to know. So do you love somebody because you're devoted to them? Or do you love somebody because you're indebted to them? That's what I want to know. So for example, with God, do you love God out of a sense of devotion to him? You want to love him? Or do you love God out of a sense of debt to him or obligation? I'm obligated to love God. That's the only reason that I love him. Is that you? So which one are you? Do you love out of a sense of devotion to people, children, God, or do you love them out of a sense of obligation or you're indebted to, I have to love this person or um, I'm in debt to this person. This person did this for me. Therefore, I'm obligated to love them. That's what I want to know. Which one are you? There's no right or wrong answer when you're giving your opinion, like whatever sparks that feeling of love for you that's it is what it is um i just want to know down in the comments because i want to see where the crack your bible family actually is in all of this like where do you think love for you personally um springs from out of a sense of devotion or is it out of a sense of being in debt or obligated to so that's really where we are right now. Um, I guess we can call that homework, even though it's not really homework in the sense of like, study your Bible and tell me the right answer. It's where are you right now? Where are you at right now in your, your changing of who you are as a new creation in Christ Jesus? I just want to see where your mindset is because everybody's on a different part of their journey, of their sanctification process. Remember, justification, we're instantly justified when we believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and we're going to worship him as our personal Lord and Savior, as our God. Um, so even though we're justified in an instant, sanctification, where we're becoming more like God, is a process that is not complete until we meet Jesus up in the air and we put on our new heavenly bodies, right? So that's why I'm asking this question. I want to see where everybody is in their walk and get kind of like a general idea of where the community is so that I can speak on that. So do me a favor, please. Let me know your answer down in the comment section below and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you lots.